Okay, what's up everyone? My name's Daniel Choi. Um, I'll be your SAT reading guide today. So we're gonna time it's time to master the reading. Um, it's gonna be a sample reading section here now. Um, guys, when you're reading with me or on your own, um, there's a certain factors, points I get you guys to focus on while reading. Now, this is um, you know a passage that states uh, questions are from one to ten on the following passage. Uh, it's pretty good to read that short section there just to give you, maybe it might give you an idea um, of a little background info, where it's um, set, um, who is involved, etc. Now, clearly this passage is a uh, story, right? So in stories, you have to focus on what? Characters, um, character versus the other characters, where's the setting, what the tense is, uh, what they're focused on, right? So we start off with a main character called Rose Saxon, and we see here the queen of romance comics, right? So this is a, it's giving a referral, right guys? So when it gives a referral, you got to think why, why is it giving such a referral and what's it meaning to? Uh, was her, was at her drawing board in the garage of her house in Bloomington, New York. So we have a setting where she is. Now, Miss Saxon was at work on the text of a new story which she intended to begin laying out that night after her son went to bed okay so we now have an uh, a new character okay so rose saxon has a son um it would be the lead story for the june issue of kiss comics so we have what she is working on now she planned to call it the bomb destroyed my marriage i agree right um uh, now it says here the uh, the story would be based on an article that she read in a red book about the humorous difficulties of uh, being married to a nuclear physicist employed by the government, a top secret facility in the middle of New York, uh, Mexico desert. So now what you would uh, while you're reading that little section here is you would refer. OK, so it's a little may maybe like a plot or background info about the work uh, she is working on at the moment. Um now, she was not writing so much as planning out her panels one by one at the typewriter over the years. Okay, so you see that word in line 15, over the years. Okay, so it kind of gives you like a time period. Okay, now Sammy scripts had grown no less detailed, but looser. A very tricky structured sentence, right? It says here, never bothered, oh, sorry. Um, Sammy scripts had grown no less detailed. Okay, so it's saying it hasn't lost any detail okay um, but what's happened to it it's become looser right so it's become looser is what they are trying to stay uh, state here right so it hasn't lose uh, lost the de uh, detail but it's become loose okay um, he never bothered with telling an artist um, an artist what to draw Rosa couldn't operate that way okay so you got to think about these this uh this uh reference word that way what do you mean so this shows a difference in character versus who sammy versus rosa right uh so you would think about that way now she hated working from sammy's script she needed to have everything figured out in advance storyboarded they called it in hollywood shot by shot as it were okay so this section here with the reference with the Hollywood would be important because uh, they make a comparison. Okay, so in reading passages, comparisons are always uh, important also. So we had uh, Rosa had gotten her start in comics soon after Sammy's return in the business of, uh, after Upon the War. So here uh, we have a shift, right? It's, it's like kind of different information to what we have in the previous paragraph. Okay, so it talks about how she got started, right? Now, upon taking over the editor's desk at Gold Star, Sammy's first move had been to clear out many of the subcompetents who littered. You see the language that he's using here? Who had littered the staff there. Okay, so he kind of took out, um, you know, some sub subcompetents, those capables, right? Now, it was a bold and necessary step, so it had, you know, it was necessary, had to be done, but it left him with an acute shortage of artists, in particular, inkers. Okay, so important here. Transitional words like but, you know, these are connecting sentences. These are actually important because it says that we have words like, you know, he had a shortage, right? And in particular, be more specific of inkers. So this would be important also, okay? Because, you know, 
maybe he's going to build up upon what he had resulted from being short of inkers, right? So we have a new paragraph, and it starts with Tommy. Tommy had started kindergarten, and Rosa had just be well, sorry, Rosa was just beginning to understand the true horror of her destiny, the errant purposeless of her life. Okay, so we have Tommy, new character. Rosa, obviously being the mother, was beginning to understand the true horror of her destiny. Okay, so you see that word once again, the word horror, her destiny, Tommy, right? Not saying that you guys are all bad people, you know, kids being bad, but, you know, now the errant purposeless of her life whenever her son was not around, meaning she was bored. Why, right? Meaning she was bored. Why? Why? You got to think why, okay? Because he went to kindergarten. Right. So what would she do? One day when Sammy came home at lunch, harried frantic with an armload of Bristol board, a, ball, a bottle of Higgins ink and a bunch of three brushes and begged Rosa to help him by doing what she could. Okay, so we got to look at certain words here also. And then, um, you know, we have words like, you know, begged, right, begged Rosa to help him by doing what she could. Okay, she stayed up all night with pages. It was some dreadful gold star superhero strip the human grenade or the phantom stallion and had the job finished by the time Sammy left for the work the next morning, the reign of the queen had commenced. Okay, Guys, this is quite obvious, right? But I'm just going to explain because you might be curious. Okay. So we have a name of a comic here and then you see how it, uh, it, it states here like, um, you know, and had the job finished by the time Sammy left for work the next morning. Okay, so this shows that she's very, you know, capable of getting work done. She's a committed person. Uh, it's being very specific of the character, right? And then we have, you know, we got the word the queen again. Where does that refer to? Here, right? You got to remember that, right? So the reign of the queen had commenced, meaning she had once started. Okay, so her artwork, you know, her comic drawing, etc., Right. So Rose had emerged slowly, lending an ink brush at first, only now and then unsigned and uncredited to a story or a cover that she would spread out in a denite table in the kitchen. Uh, Rosa had always had a steady hand, a strong line for a good, uh, sorry, a good sense of a shadow. It was work done in a kind of unreflective crisis mode whenever Sammy was in a jam or shorthanded. Right. So it still talks about, you know, Rosa. Mm, you know, emerging slowly, all this, you know, helping here and then when she could, okay, or whenever she was asked. But after a while, she realized that she had begun to crave intensely the days when Sammy had something for her to do, okay? So intensive words like, you know, intensely and the word crave. Obviously, crave wanting something so much, right? So she had craving. She really wanted to get back to her work, right? So this is like overly... You know, described. So that would also be important. One night as they lay in bed talking in the dark, Sammy told her that the brushwork already far exceeded that of the best people he could afford to hire at Lowly Gold Star. He asked if she had ever given any thought to penciling. Okay, so here we have a suggestion, right? Which is to layouts to actually writing and drawing comic book stories. He explained to her that the Simon and Kirby were just then having considerable success with a new kind of feature they had cooked up based partly on teen features like Archie and a date with Judy partly on the old true romance pulps. Uh, the last of the old pulp genres to be exhumed and given new life in the comics. Okay, see how I just like kind of read this without, you know, kind of like analyzing nor explaining anything to you? It's because this information is really, I mean, isn't really of a great importance. In answering the questions, you can tell because it doesn't connect the um, the wordings with the character nor the characters, right? It's just talking about some kind of comic, right? Now, it was called Young Romance. It was aimed at women, and the stories it told were centered on women, okay? So, this one specific work, women had been neglected until now as the readers of comics, comic books. It seemed to Sammy that they might enjoy one that had been written and drawn by one of their own okay so the stuff like this in line 69 this kind of stuff pops up in questions as well it's pretty obvious uh one of their own obviously women women right rose had accepted sammy's proposal at once and with a flush of gratitude whose power was undiminished even now so at the end you know undiminished not reduced so she's getting better increasing etc right 
Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna go over like one or two questions because it's a uh, short VOD. I don't, I don't want to take too much of your time. Now, if you look at question number one, it says, uh, what, which, which choice best summarizes the passage? All right, it's a summary question. Okay, so when I say T passages, uh, with the questions related to this, you gotta like answer choice, eliminate um, as you solve these questions. So you would see. Now, A, a successful artist thinks back on the beginning of her career. Now, yes, successful, and she does think back, so yes, slight possibility. Now, we have a comic book geared toward women. Okay, that's not the summary. I mean, yes, she was, you know, writing a book, and it kind of inspired a lot of women, but yet, we don't know whether if it was a bestseller, and it wasn't, you know, not focusing on women, right? So you eliminate B. What about C? An owner of a comic book company develops a new kind of comic book. Now... Uh, that's probably referring to Sammy, right? But a uh, new kind of comic book, rather than that, it's more focused on like, you know, Rosa, how she began, how she, you know, came back into the industry of uh, starting to draw these comic books, right? So D, uh, a woman helps her husband build a successful comic book company. Now, maybe she does help her husband, but we don't know if it's like very successful, etc. right? So a lot of students would weigh A and D. But if you kind of look at it, A is more focused on a woman helping her husband build a successful company, right? But then A talks about like, you know, where Rosa started, how she uh, continued, etc. So A would make more sense than B, uh, D. Now, if you look at question number two, ladies and gentlemen, it says here, uh, the author includes the information in the first paragraph most likely too. Okay, so if you kind of if you can remember what was mentioned in the first paragraph, by all means target it. But you know, in the SAT, uh, we have a lot of time, right? So you can kind of like you know look at your notes or the annotations that you had written uh, for the first paragraph, um, and then you know you would kind of uh, choose your answer, right? So the author includes the info in the second paragraph. So in the first. Now, if you look at answer choices A, B, C, D, what we have here is if you look at A, it says uh, it reveals specific information about Rose's conflict. Okay, Not really conflict, right? Now, B, does it provide a brief intro to the women's? It doesn't really focus on women, right? So, you know, these two don't make any sense. Now, C, does it reveal key details about the main character and setting of the passage? Yeah, it introduces Rosa. Right, who's the queen? Okay. Now provide a flashback. Is it uh you know before she became a wife and mother? We don't know. Right? So you would eliminate D. So this the question two was a two was a quite easy answer. Uh, right? It was a C. Okay. Um guys, yeah, I hope this kind of gives you an idea. You know, I was kind of rushing it because you know I gotta make the short VOD and all. Um, you know, we'll go more specifics into analyzing the paragraphs, passages, um, finding key detail in class when we have more time. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Peace.